Good evening. Um, thank you for that very nice introduction. I often don't get such a detailed introduction. It does make me think back to when I was your age, and I did graduate when I was 20 from Cornell, but I think I worked too hard on schoolwork. <laughs> Didn't have too much fun. So tonight, there's so many aspects that we can talk about which relate to management theory um, and to motivation. We could have a whole course on this subject. But as an expert on the life and work of Abraham Maslow, I want to focus specifically on Maslow's life and ideas <clears throat> and focus specifically on the issue of motivation. Um, it's been 60 years since Maslow developed the concept of the hierarchy of inborn needs. You probably all know the, the famous pyramid. This was what Maslow developed about 1945. And I'll talk about with you with the class this evening. But since then, no theory of motivation has replaced Maslow's theory. So in, in psychology and social science, this is very remarkable. Uh, theories keep changing every five years, 10 years. It's not like physics or chemistry. Einstein's theory of relativity is still accepted after 100 years. But in the social sciences, theories come into being much more frequently and replace old theories because the social sciences are very new. So the fact that for 60 years now, Maslow's theory is the most important, well-accepted theory means that this is probably true. It's probably accurate scientifically because no other theory has replaced it. So I just wanted to begin the evening uh, with that, that now that we're in the 21st century, this concept, this approach that we'll talk about is still the most widely accepted uh, approach to understanding human motivation. Before I go into history, history sometimes can be boring, I think. I try to make it interesting. The issue of motivation is very, very important. <clears throat> Maslow is known as the father of the theory of motivation of the field of motivation. 